A pegmatite is a hollow crystalline, intrusive igneous rock composed of interlocking phaneritic crystals usually larger than 2.5 cm in size. Such rocks are referred to as pegmatitic. The word pegmatite derives from Homeric Greek pi epsilon gamma nu epsilon mu iota, which means to bind together. In reference to the intertwined crystals of quartz and feldspar in the text, texture known as graphic granite. Most pegmatites are composed of quartz, feldspar and mica, having a similar basic composition as granite. Rarer intermediate composition and mafic pegmatites containing amphibol, California plagioclase feldspar, pyroxene, feldsparthoids and other unusual minerals are known, found in recrystallized zones and apophyses associated with large layered intrusions. Crystal size is the most striking feature of pegmatites, with crystals usually over 5 cm in size. Individual crystals over 10 m long have been found, and many of the world's largest crystals were found within pegmatites. These include spodamine, microcline, beryl, and tourmaline. Similarly, crystal texture and form within pegmatitic rock may be taken to extreme size and perfection. Feldspar within a pegmatite may display exaggerated and perfect twinning exolution lamellae and when affected by hydrous crystallization. Macroscale graphic texture is known, with feldspar and quartz intergrown. Perthite feldspar within a pegmatite often shows gigantic perthitic texture visible to the naked eye. General description. The single feature that is diagnostic to all pegmatites is the large size crystal components. Pegmatite bodies are usually of minor size compared to typical intrusive rock bodies. Pegmatite body size is on the order of magnitude of one to a few hundred meters. Compared to typical igneous rocks they are rather inhomogeneous and may show zones with different mineral assemblages. Crystal size and mineral assemblages are usually oriented parallel to the wall rock or even concentric for pegmatite lenses. Petrology Crystal growth rates in pegmatite must be very slow to allow gigantic crystals to grow within the confines and pressures of the Earth's crust. Thus, the possible growth mechanisms in a wide variety of known pegmatites may likely involve a combination of the following processes. Low rates of nucleation of crystals coupled with high diffusivity to force growth of a few large crystals instead of many smaller crystals. High vapor and water pressure to assist in the enhancement of conditions of diffusivity. High concentrations of fluxing elements such as boron and lithium which lower the temperature of solidification within the magma of vapor. Low thermal gradients coupled with a high wall rock temperature explaining the preponderance for pegmatite to occur only within greenish metamorphic terrains. Despite this hypothesis on likely chemical, thermal and compositional conditions required to promote pegmatite growth there are three main theories behind pegmatite formation. Metasomatism is currently not well favored as a mechanism for pegmatite formation and it is likely that metamorphism and magmatism are both both contributors toward the conditions necessarily for pegmatite genesis. Mineralogy The mineralogy of a pegmatite is in most cases dominated by some form of feldspar, often with mica and usually with quartz, being altogether granitic in character. Beyond that, pegmatite may include most minerals associated with granite and granite-associated hydrothermal systems. Granite-associated mineralization styles, for example Grisons, and somewhat with scan-associated mineralization. 
It is however impossible to quantify the mineralogy of pegmatite in simple terms because of the varied mineralogy and difficulty in estimating the modal abundance of mineral species which are of only a trace amount. This is because of the difficulty in counting and sampling mineral grains in a rock which may have crystals from centimeters to meters across. Garnet, commonly armandine or spessartine, is a common mineral within pegmatite intruding mafic and carbonate bearing sequences. Pegmatites associated with granitic domes within the Archean Yilgarn Craton intruding ultramafic and mafic rocks contain red, orange and brown armandine garnet. Tantalum and niobium minerals are found in association with spodamine, lepidolite, tourmaline, cassiterite in the massive green bushes pegmatite in the Yilgarn Craton of Western Australia. Consider a typical metamorphic pegmatite unassociated with granite. Cyanite pegmatites are quartz depleted and contain large feldspathoid crystals instead. Geochemistry Pegmatite is difficult to sample representatively due to the large size of the constituent mineral crystals. Often, bulk samples of some 50 to 60 kilograms of rock must be crushed to obtain a meaningful and repeatable result. Hence, pegmatite is often characterized by sampling the individual minerals which which comprise the pegmatite, and comparisons are made according to mineral chemistry. Geochemically, pegmatites typically have major element compositions approximating granite. However, when found in association with granitic plutons it is likely that a pegmatite dike will have a different trace element composition with greater enrichment in large iron lithophile elements, boron, beryllium, aluminium, potassium and lithium uranium, thorium, cesium, etc. Occasionally enrichment in the unusual trace elements will result in crystallization of equally unusual and rare minerals such as beryl, tourmaline, columbite, tantalite, zinvaldite, and so forth. In most cases, there is no particular genetic significance to the presence of rare mineralogy within a pegmatite. However, it is possible to see some causative and genetic links between, say, tourmaline-bearing granite dikes and tourmaline-bearing pegmatites within the area of influence of a composite granite intrusion. Economic importance Pegmatites are important because they often contain rare earth minerals and gemstones, such as aquamarine, tourmaline, topaz, fluorite, apatite and corundum, often along with tin and tungsten minerals, among others. Pegmatites of the primary source of lithium either as spodamine, lithiophyllite are usually from lepidolite. The primary source for cesium is pellucite, a mineral from his own pegmatite. The majority of the world's beryllium is sourced from non-gem quality beryl within pegmatite. Tantalum, niobium, rare earth elements are sourced from a few pegmatites worldwide, notably the green bushes pegmatite. Bismuth, molybdenum and tin have been won from pegmatite, but this is not yet an important source of these metals. Nomenclature Pegmatites can be classified according to the elements or mineral of interest. For instance, lithium pegmatite to describe a Li bearing a Li mineral bearing pegmatite or boron pegmatite for those containing tourmaline. There is often no meaningful way to distinguish pegmatites according to chemistry due to the difficulty of obtaining a representative sample. But often groups of pegmatites can be distinguished on contact textures, orientation, accessory minerals and timing. These may be named formally or informally as a class of intrusive rock within a larger igneous association. While difficult to be certain of derivation of pegmatite in the strictest sense, often pegmatites are referred to as metamorphic, granitic or metasomatic based on the interpretations of the investigation. Geologist. Rocks with similar texture to pegmatites are called pegmatitic occurrence. 
Worldwide, notable pegmatite occurrences are within the major cratins, and within green facies metamorphic belts. However, pegmatite localities are only well recorded when economic mineralization is found. Within the metamorphic belts, pegmatite tends to concentrate around granitic bodies within zones of low mean strain and within zones of extension. For example within the strain shadow of a large rigid granite body. Similarly, pegmatite is often found within the contact zone of granite, transitional with some grisons. As a late-stage magmatic hydrothermal effect of syn metamorphic granitic magmatism, some scans associated with granites also tend to host pegmatites. Aplite and porphyry dikes and veins may intrude pegmatites and wall rocks adjacent to intrusions, creating a confused sequence of felsic intrusive apophyses within the aureole of some granites.